Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today on The Overkill, we're going to use six formats to turn the Tetra from a super wannabe into a superstar. Ah, oh, you like that? Started off with a pun that had nothing to do with dicks. Are you impressed? No, not really? Fine, whatever. So as you know from the quick draw, I had a strong feeling that investing some Forma into the Tetra might cause it to snowball into something really amazing. With the Super had in raw damage and fire rate, the Tetra made up for in superior mechanics. And I must say that after forming them both into Oblivion, I actually prefer the Tetra, even if its model does remind me of a cat dick. Let's jump straight into the build. So as you can see, I've added four V polarity slots and two bar slots. Now, to be honest, the second bar slot is optional if you really don't want to invest that much, but I don't call this series the overkill for nothing. So as always, we start with the base and multi-shot mods, serration and split chamber. Then we add in the nightmare mod shred to increase its fire rate and give it punch through. For me, the punch through is a must because it really helps with ammo efficiency. If you can't wrap your head around what I mean by that, think of it this way. Without Shred, you can kill one enemy with three bullets. With Shred, as long as you line up your enemies, you can kill two enemies with the same three bullets, thus doubling your ammo efficiency. Next, we add in Speed Trigger, because it really helps to whittle down big targets faster. On the other end of the spectrum, we're going to add in a fully ranked ammo mutation mod, because at the speed we're shooting, we're going to need as much ammo as we can get. The two bar polarities are reserved for your elemental combos. In this case, I'm using electric and fire to create radiation to take down the grenier. You could also use fire and poison to create gas for the infested. If you're modding for the corpus, just swap the placement of your ice elemental with your ammo mutation, and then add in an electric mod to create the magnetic combo. Now, as you can tell, there is one last spot available. If you're being a big babby and only putting in 5 forma, then you'd have just enough space for a bane mod for the appropriate faction. In this case, it would be Grenier. But, since I want to show you exactly how a gay guy plays, we're going to go all in with a heavy caliber. Now, for accuracy reasons, I only ever take mine 2 from the top. But, you have just enough space to go all the way if you feel like it. You dirty whore. Now I know that I was toting the fact that the Tetra's accuracy was what made it better than the Supra, so why would I add in a mod that messes with all that goodness? Well, if you take a look at it, the Tetra's base accuracy is so good that even with a 45% decrease, it's still more accurate than the Supra without a heavy caliber. Now if you did want to top this damage out for shorter missions, you could replace the ammo mutation mod with a Bane mod. Just be sure to burst fire in order to preserve as much ammo as possible, and be sure to carry a powerful sidearm. Just, just in case, you know? So here's a couple quick tips for the Tetra. Do your best to line up your shots to take advantage of Shred. The more enemies you kill, the less ammo you use, which means the less reloading you'll have to do. And I personally hate the shit out of waiting for guns to reload. Next, I only ever reserve full auto for large groups and big targets. I also like to reposition myself when my target's in a group so that the Shred can work its magic on lighter units while I attempt to whittle the bigger guys down. Now for moving targets. Since the Tetris projectiles have flight speed, you're going to want to lead your target. The further they are away, the more you're going to have to lead them. Alrighty, well I hope that was helpful for someone. I don't know who watches this shit. Thank you for watching another episode of The Overkill. Don't forget to do the thing that I ask you to do at the end of every one of these, and be sure to stay tuned for more possibly helpful content here at A Gay Guy Plays. I mean, it's not like we get a bonus for each grenier we save. Technically, we could, like, take a 15 while they duke it out. Grab a sandwich, download some porn or something, and just come back in for the cleanup, right?